Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Joe. My call is Victor Echo One Bravo Whiskey Victor. What we're looking at to say is just a uh, temporary box that I put a 7 inch Nexian display in. The firmware that you're seeing is created by KD8CEC, Dr. Ian Lee. And uh, some of the customizations and um, modifications to the screens, etc., uh, have been done by KN4UD and myself, V1BWV. So let's just go to the uh, main screen. That's typically what you see uh, for the radio control, which is normally hooked up uh, by four wires to the uh, U-Bit X. Two for power and two for serial. We've got some work to do here yet, but this is, still, this is working quite well as far as operational goes. You hit the buttons and you know, items pop up, etc. Here you have the um, IFS. Then you have your submenu area, so we go here. There you go. And in the sub or control menu area, these are various uh, sub screens again for different things to be done, such as reading the UBX config. Uh, you can do a spectrum test, reboot, you know, self explanatory. That what you saw a minute ago was the under the credits. That's that, what you saw. Let's go back here again, go to the main menu. And let's go to LC set, LCD settings. It's a place where it allows you to um, turn up the brightness by using a slide here. My finger will be in the way, but you'll see me moving it and you see it going dim. Um, this is a temporary one. In other words, when you um, turn the power off, um, that would return back to its normal setting. However, if you move the one down below here, same story as far as adjustment goes, um, that would be permanent. So if you turn it off and then turn it back on, it would remember this setting. So you have a choice of something you may want to adjust temporarily, and then another setting is that one that you really like to use all the time. Down below here, uh, Ian's created the um, a timer, screensaver. Uh, always, it means basically it's always on, three minutes, ten minutes, or twenty minutes, it'll shut off. Just sometimes, uh, it's not that the screen requires it, uh, and you don't really save all that much current uh, but it's the idea that uh, sometimes you know you don't want the display on because maybe distractive or you're away and you're running it uh, on digital and you don't need the screen on at the moment. Anyway, go back home and we'll go up to the secondary tuning area. You have your different digits here you can tune by hand. And I can see that some of them, there's a setting here it says home so there's something off here. We've got to readjust those. The screen, when you bring it to a 7 inch screen from a 2.4 screen uh, there's a fair amount of work to be done, obviously. I see this has to be corrected. Here is where you normally would enter your buttons. It's on shift right now, so if you start entering your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you'd see it appear on whatever particular uh, spot you have. And, uh, yeah, so these have to be corrected yet. Um, so let's go back here and do, it, and do a shift. And uh, on the shift, you can uh, do your different... Um, uh, bands and that sort of stuff. Select the bands. Put this back here. Cancel it. Back home here. Well, we've got quite a bit of work to do on that one. Um, so go back to the main area. Uh, we did LCDs. If, yeah, let's go to any one of these ones here just to show that uh, the screens are there for doing uh, digital monitoring. So if I had a button, I push talk, whatever the case is, you'll get an actual reading here as to what the values are and everything else. Again, we've got to make the screen full size. Um, quite a few of these sub-screens here that um, also require the... Uh, let's go down to the spectrum test. And you can see it's still a 2.4 screen here. So, it's operational, but it's small. So anyway, we've got um, some of the main screens done. Control areas done with the enhanced graphics. And that's what's nice about this. None of this graphic power is taking up uh, any resource whatsoever from the uh, the nano or the microprocessor that's in the UBIT X. It's all done on this board here. So that's what's really nice about playing with this. It has no effect on processing power uh, on your main uh, UBIT X transceiver. Anyway, let's go back here. Um, with that, we'll pass seven threes again. Just quick looks. It's a seven inch Nexian display, uh, just in the works of trans forming it over to a full uh, display. Seven trees from E1 to BWV.